You know what time it is. It's time to slay the spire. Uh, who were we last time? We were we were me. I was me. You were you. Who were we? Hmm. That is the question. We were the silent. Uh, hold up, hold up. I've just realized I'm still wearing my sweatshirt. I should take it off now. Well, I should have taken it off before I started the stream, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. It's time to go. It's time to roll. It's time to rock. Defect. I like how you can see all four of the orbs just like trailing behind them. Just, here's what they look like, more or less. Although the lightning and the plasma are kind of similar. Although, no. Does lightning generate plasma? Lightning generates ozone. I don't know that it generates plasma. It probably could, given powerful enough lightning. But anyway, next week combat's curse for HP. Okay. Can I take both of them and just like do this? Okay. Uh, what's our boss? Ooh, Hexagos, which means I like need to get some scaling. Well, if I'm gonna go this way, because like if I take the curse, I'm gonna want to go this way. But that's probably worse than getting like the free elite here and then being able to take on two elites. It's basically two elites, two bonfires. Although both the bonfires are beforehand, so. You never know. It's either that or like transform a card. Nah. No, 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 no. Besides, this has this is a little bit of extra synergy if uh, you end up encountering Loth and he ends up wanting the Owl's Lament. Uh, we probably still. Well, Claw is also kind of scaling. Oh, we could we could do both. We could we could get a curse in exchange for something. And try to hit an elite. Yes. Give me those relics. No fight. Perfect. Fucking incredible. Oh, paid 75 gold for a dream catcher. Well, 75 gold and 5 max HP. Hmm. I guess it's not. It's more like 100 because... Max HP tends to be, or the focus potion, or not the focus potion, the fruit juice tends to be like a little over 100, like 115-ish. So really we actually paid more like 190 for a dream catcher. Mm, might not have been worth it. But we didn't know what we were getting. Obviously we could have gotten a way better relic than dream catcher. And like, dream catcher is not bad. Um, it's probably not going to do a whole heck of a lot here because I don't anticipate napping much this act. That's, that sure is a complete lack of damage that this deck has. I can't even upgrade a card for, for more damage, really. I guess I could upgrade Strike. I could upgrade Strike for more damage. Uh, two napping relics. Uh, scaling. S. That's some scaling. I need something. And that's something, so I'll take it. On the plus side, I do have some reasonable potions. Hmm. Are you dead? Hold up, can I just kill him? Yeah. Mm, yep. Oh, do we really take two claws here? Gross. Smiling mask, rip. Could use that earlier. I upgrade consume at this point. You could make an argument for go for the eyes. Okay, especially against this big boy. Uh, this is a, yeah, this is a pretty good turn. Yeah, yep, yep, uh-huh. Cool. What did that get me? Having those two cards in opening hand and not later got me... What? It got me nine damage for every turn of the fight. That's pretty good. That's pretty good.
Can I kill him? It's 22. 28. 40? Are you joking me? Fire pots have saved 18 health here. We really do want to take another elite. Uh, it stings. It stings. Oh, okay. That uh, doesn't sting so much. So we definitely need some orb slots, like real bad. Because, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, baby. Yeah, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off the pocket watch here to just do more damage this turn. <sighs> yeah, pocket watch being able to cycle through cards, cycle through our deck faster, means I can cast, consume more often, which means we really want some uh, some orb slots. Oh, I think he's just dead. I think he's all the way dead. I got him. Do we have enough damage with Consume, Defrag? I think we probably do. I think we can skip the Streamline. Take the Static Discharge instead. Hmm. Just end there. Okay. Yeah, I can't claw here, otherwise he'll wake up, unfortunately. That's how we're gonna have to do it. I think I Static Discharge, because there's... Like, I'm almost certainly taking damage this fight, and... Eh, it's gonna it's gonna output a lot of damage every time we do. Yep, an extra 12 damage, it's pretty good. Um... Hmm. You know, actually none of those cards were, were useful now that I look at it. That was a waste of a potion. Cool, got him. Matryoshka after... I think I have to take Cool Headed here because we've got Focus and no Frost Orbs. Ooh, took a lot of damage that fight. 20? Okay. Oh, jeez. Really wants the front man dead. Start buffing? Fuck. If I kill him, that's going to be 9 damage. 5, 6, 7, 5. If I consume, I can't guarantee that the lightning orb is going to hit this guy, and so I might have to take even more damage. Yeah. So, no consumption here. Cool. And then I won the whole fight. That's a good one. Yep. Hmm. I think in order to not rest, I should probably upgrade Go for the Eyes for this fight just to try and be super safe. Higher chance of drawing it next turn because we keep Pocket Watch going. I don't think I need to use either of these potions here, but we might have to use a Dex potion. Fuck. Yeah. Hmm, no static discharge either. Unfortunate, that would be the turn to have it. Rip.
We only have two cards in the whole deck that generate orbs. Hmm, that could be a bit bad. Don't really need to dual cast here or at all. Although we're starting to, like the claws are starting to scale pretty well, considering we're drawing a bunch of extra cards. A letter opener wouldn't be too bad here. Hmm. I think that's still enough block, yep. Oh, this is about to get real bad, isn't it? I've got to go for the eyes. If I overestimated... Oh, maybe I should have consumed there. Since we got rid of our front orb. Okay, down to 24. Easy peasy. Didn't even take damage. Oh boy. Claws are starting to get up there in damage too. Yeah, we should be fine. Hmm. Drawing all these extra cards. So let's make me draw extra burns, and I don't know that I enjoy that. I think I'm taking damage this turn. Nice. Nice! Static Discharge actually prevented a bunch of damage there. Cool. Claws came in. Wow, the Claws did so much damage that fight. Well, we ended at 19. So between, we did three, then five, then seven, then, yeah. Ooh. Echo Form's really good, but we have no AoE. We've got a bunch of focus. So, like, Electrodynamics seems like the way to go. Ooh. What else do I even need to upgrade? Like, Defrag would be nice. Cool headed, reinforced body, those would all be nice, but not super necessary. I'm taking the fusion hammer. And besides, we've got like two napping relics, so we can just we can just have ourselves some lovely nappers. I definitely want to hit a shop. How are we feeling about Act 2 Elite? Uh, can't upgrade the Static Discharge, so not as great as I'd like to feel about Stab Hand. But, you know, it is what it is. Feeling pretty good about Gremlin Leader. Like, Electrodynamics plus Pocket Watch is... Plus Consume Plus means... Yeah, those Gremlins, those Gremlins ain't sticking around. They ain't sticking to nothing. Um, interesting. Right, I did look at these. I should go in and like actually look at them in the, whatchamacallit, in the compendium. Um, what about slavers? Problem is this isn't in a bottle. What's our boss? Collector, okay. <clears throat> yeah, we don't have super great defensive measures as of yet. So we definitely need to work on that. Uh, going that way means I have to take an elite. I can go this way. See how I feel. Take one or two elites. Yeah. I think that's what we're doing. Hmm. I could just leave it there for pocket watch. Not the greatest start, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay. I think I'm gonna draw three extra cards to make up for the... Three days as I just put in. 
Hey, a genius cat, how's it going? Your name, Jeff. Have you seen that fucking, that fucking clip that somebody edited together of, uh, of Jeopardy? Where every word said is Jeff? It's just like three people, the, you know, the three contestants, and they all have their name written in different styles as Jeff. And each one of them, like every, every category and everything on the thing is just Jeff. It's like, I'll take Jeff for 400. Jeff, 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 Jeff. What is Jeff? <laughs> oh, it's so fucking good. <laughs> hey, Looney Boy streamer, how's it going? Yeah, Jeff pretty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, that shit's so good. Also, you've been missing it. We, we were doing... We've been doing the fucking Dark Souls Garfield onesie run. Every, every Thursday night. I, it's technically Friday morning. Like, I, I actually have it. Because I was doing laundry, so I've still got it, like, strewn out across my bed. Ugh. And it's technically... It's technically not a onesie. Because when I was looking on Amazon... To figure out, like, what exactly I wanted to buy... The, the onesie that I had on my wish list... Uh... Went up by $50? It was $80 when I looked, and then it was $50 by the time the uh, the donation incentive was met and I had to buy it. So I was looking to see if there was something else, and it was actually an even better. It wasn't a onesie. It was a full, full goddamn fucking costume. Here's the head to it. Like, my head, like, I can't really put it on properly with the headphones on, but... Yeah, this is the headpiece. It's a full, like, zip up in the back. It's got a gut on it, and it's got... Big stupid four-fingered gloves and big stupid padded feet things and a tail. It's like the whole damn thing. Yeah, we've been doing that for like the last two, three weeks. Yes, yes fucking way. I don't know if they've gone live on YouTube yet. I think the first one might have. I put it as a donation incentive and it got met, therefore I had to do it. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna do this. Just so I don't put another days in. Yep. Oh. <laughs> your, your dream has become a reality. There's no- oh wait, no, no, there is. I was like, there's no block in my hand. Turns out, I was a liar. Well, we've got- We- we currently have the Final Fantasy X. Once the Final Fantasy X one's met, then it's Final Fantasy X 2, and then after that, it's DK64 in the Donkey Kong onesie, onesie or costume, whichever it ends up being. So, by my estimations, it'll probably take, like, at least a year before we get around to DK64. Um, what am I doing? I'm losing all my frost orbs like an idiot. Okay, two days isn't too bad. Also, he's down to like 22 health and also all the way dead. Steam Barrier, that's a block card. That's not a bad block card at all. It's like 14 HP, that's 21 HP at a Lee's Waffle. Anchor's also pretty good for helping us out on turn one. And that's a problem, is we need to like get up and going. There's no frost orbs here. So I think Anchor is probably better in the long run than Lee's Waffle is. And just remove a strike. Do I want a potion? No. No, these are good. Okay, our block just got a lot better. So did our attacks, but that's less important. I think we can take these guys. If I get electrodynamics like right, right away. Hmm, I think get electrodynamics right away. That's unfortunate. 
Aha, bitch, I got 10 block. Ooh, I'm about to eat a big old heap and helping of what, minus five, minus four dexterity? All right, all right. Rip. I don't have electrodynamics up yet. Shit. I do have static discharge up. All right. No frost orbs. Ooh, boy. Here we go. Cool. That's 20 damage. Also, he's dead. Make egg salad? I don't even like egg salad. Also, I... I don't have the the tools to do that since the only camera I have is attached by a very short cable to the back of my PC. I guess I could like, I don't know, get like a folding table and I'd have to clean up my room, which is probably something I should do anyway, but... So, obviously like having more focus is good here, but... You might think, oh, well, I have Consume, why would I need more defragments, especially if I can't upgrade them? The problem with Consume is I can do it, like, at most twice in a fight. Hmm. What about Self-Repair? I didn't even finish answering the question, I just gritted my teeth and then took it. Oh, right, I've got the anchor. Nice. I was like, shit, I'm gonna take damage here. But actually, I'm not. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This reinforced body is a lot worse now that these defends are upgraded. Oh, the fucking, like, the, the me looking back. Like, the, the one chick who's, uh, the DK64 cartridge. And then the other chick who's just, like, a bunch of fucking games I've streamed. That meme? Yes, I like it. I love it. In fact, I love it so much. That's that's the fucking screen now when I'm offline. Like as soon as you posted it, I was like, "Oh, I know I know where this is going." Cuz it used to be the fucking don't let your memes be dreams. And then I didn't. <laughs> I guess it's your meme. Your meme is not a dream. Your meme is real. Whenever whenever I'm not online and not hosting, it's it's right there on the page. It was, yeah, no, that meme was incredible. Thank you very much. Oh shit, uh, I might not have wanted to do that. Um, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. We don't need to draw cards. We don't need to draw cards. I have not knocked down his plated armor at all, and... Oh, Jesus. Well, this is gonna suck. Should have drawn three extra cards. I was gonna say, I haven't knocked down his plated armor at all, and I doubt it's going to matter. And then, 15 damage with no block in hand. Perfect. Who? these fights aren't going super well. God damn it, I need a better block card. It's like the pro I have plenty of energy, so I don't really need charge battery and I don't really need steam barrier. I need like leap and glacier and equilibrium. Maybe even force field? There's like four there are four powers in this deck. Thank you, Looney Boy Streamer. Oh you can thank a genius cat. He's the one who made it. Entirely unprompted too. I didn't ask him to or anything. He just like he just like slapped it in the fucking discord and I was like Ugh. It was really good Also, I don't know if you've seen a genius cat, but um since I became affiliate we have One Hold up The idea came to me a dream. I love it. Is that it? 
No, fuck. How do I? God damn it. I don't know the actual chat command to make that happen. But yeah, we've got the uh, the the great garf as my one emote. Is it great garf? Fuck. Oh, I know what it is. I think the G is capitalized. There the it is. Bitch, the bitch, the bitch. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for the bits, a genius cat. But yeah, no, I was, I literally just took a just took a screen cap and had a friend edit it around. And there we go. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, looking at cards, skipping cards. Hmm. Well, I think we can just take a nap here because we're healing a bajillion HP and we get to see cards. Nope, nope, nope. We need block and frost and frost and frost and block. Ooh, if these strikes weren't upgraded, I might be more inclined to transform them. We're just gonna take a special relic. Alright, let's see what we got. Okay, slavers is fine. That's not too bad a fight. Okay. I could play the zap in the claw, but I want to draw more cards because we need to dig for electrolyze. Hmm. He's going to put the, whatchamacallit, the vulnerability on me. I hope so. I hope so, a genius cat. That's the dream. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna... Fuck. Oh, uh, if I only play three cards, I get to draw the whole rest of my deck, which guarantees that I get electrodynamics. But... Wait, could I just, like, block and play no more cards? I could. 24. Hold up, what is that? It's 13, 21. I'm gonna take a bit of damage to do so. Which means not hitting this guy with proper actual attacks. Uh, okay. I should defrag first. Oh boy. It's possible that I should have used my focus potion here. Oh no, never mind. Two of them just died straight up. Uh, I need self repair now. Fuck! The is the Twitch God. Mm, no. Maybe. Pretty bad I whiffs so often though. If I had, if I had some synergies. Ooh, those are some good ones. Those, yes. Yeah, no, those are the two best skills that it could have hit. Cool-headed and reinforced body. Nice, nice, nice. My reinforced body is actually, like, really good again. Yeah, yeah, I'll take those. Okay. It's the stab hand. Um. Okay, he's not actually hitting me. I get to play one more card. I don't think I need to drink the focus potion. We've got two bonfires and I can't upgrade, which means we're napping at both. We have a regal pillow, so we're gonna heal a lot of health. So I think we're fine here. I think the uh, the bronze potion is more than enough. Um, I don't actually need electrodynamics up here, although consume would be pretty good. Drawing five of those cards. Really. Probably gonna want one of them to be reinforced body. Yeah, I'm gonna have to play more than three cards. Okay, that puts me at exactly 18 block. Boot value. Got two damage. Okay, defrag first. Zap. 
consume now so I get to keep the uh, the frost orb. This is gonna hurt. Also, it's gonna do a lot of damage to him. Oh, well, actually not that much. Didn't get to use the second frost orb very well. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Thank you, Looney Boy Streamer. Oh boy. We did it! Oh, meat! Meat! I think I take another cool headed because I still literally have only one card that gives me frost orbs. A second one would be. Ooh, this is like, yeah, Electrodynamics turn one. I like it. I like it. Oh boy. Oh yeah, we got we got audio commands now too, a genius cat. If you if you didn't hear. If you didn't hear, uh we got Phil Swift in the background telling us how much damage that is. Word on the street is uh it's a lot. Yeah, I think we are getting rid of Pocket Watch here. Hmm. Don't think. Yeah. That's almost all of my block cards. Jesus. That's real bad. Since he's about to hit me. Wait, where is it now? Boot value. Uh, yeah, let's dual cast that one. Okay. Okay, cool. We're fine. Oh, Jesus. What have I done? Okay, cool, cool. Just be cool. Okay, we get to draw three extra cards because of the pocket watch. Thank Jesus. <sighs> yeah, fuck it. Just play them all. Draw a bunch of extra cards. Get 42 block. Perfect. Oh, weird. Equus didn't actually play the actual horse noises. Hold up. There we go. I was waiting for that third one. I was like, ah, there's another one in there. I know you got more horse noises in you, Garf. Also, if you couldn't tell, uh, we named the uh, the new bot the Great Garf Bot. <laughs> um, I'm starting to make horse noises. Do we take another reinforced body? I think no. Although, uh, block cards. I'd really, 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 really like a glacier. Also, that meat bonus, though. Meat bonus hits... Oh, we're just above meat, meat value. Hmm. Extra dynamics doesn't do a whole lot here. I think I punch him and end turn. Wow, it's almost like having a snack -o eye Woo, excuse me. Well, I mean, this one's free. Okay. Let that dark orb build up a bit. Alright, alright. Uh, yeah, some, some damage. Some damage. I can play a cool headed and a defrag and generate 12 block. That's, uh. Or I could generate 18 block. It's the best I got. I've also got static discharge up, so that'll do something. Eight, thirteen. Thirteen plus eighteen is more than enough. I think we're gonna bust this. Alright, so dual cast. Love that boot. 
All right, so we're definitely getting meat value. We're getting meat value and self repair. So that's a plus. Uh, yeah, let's rotate some of these bad boys. Cool. Keep it there so I get to draw three cards next turn. He's lost a lot of health. I still haven't played that regular defrag. Better safe than sorry. Really? Twice in a row? Interesting. I think I got him. Yeah, I got him. And then I block and block and block some more. Cool. We gained health that fight. Do I try to hold on to liquid bronze for the heart? How am I feeling about this? fight well let's look at hmm. uh, uh, loop loop and consume do work really well together and it's a loop plus we don't have uh, arguably capacitor works even better with consume but like going down to one orb slot but then getting triple power out of that orb slot is also pretty handy um I think with a loot plus we can probably manage it. it just means the fight's gonna be kind of slow because I basically can't I have one card that gives me lightning orbs after I've played my powers <sighs> and I basically don't want to play it unless I can follow it up with another frost orb or unless we're about to kill I think I think the focus potion should probably get me through it well, I can do nothing but nap. Do I take one ball lightning? No. No. I want to go here and see if we can find a capacitor. We could, if this was a shop runic capacitor could be there, but there's no way we'd be able to afford it. So yeah, there wouldn't be much point in doing that. Okay. Keep it at the nice and simple three. I think it's anchor. I've done a lot of fights where the enemies aren't attacking on turn one. So I think this anchor's only blocked about 20 damage so far. Which, I mean, is not bad, but... Okay, so you're already dead, so I'm gonna weaken this idiot. We're gonna keep the pocket watch going, so I'm gonna do this instead. Rip self-repair. I mean, we're at full health, and we have to nap at the next floor anyway. Well, we don't have to. It's either nap to look at Dreamcatcher, or we recall and take the key now. I guess either one of those options is reasonable. Yeah, I think I want to I think I want to draw more cards just looking at what my next hand is looking like it's going to be. Doesn't mean we don't get Oh, no. If I'd looped the uh frost orb, we would have been fine. Yeah. I'll just stick there. I'm getting 21 damage out of this thing. Cool. We got our self repair. Not that that actually matters. No, no, I don't need boot sequence and the anchor. Yeah, I guess I just take the key now. Just in case I need to actually nap before the uh, Act 3 boss fights. Alright, that's a pretty good consume. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Hmm. Well. No electrodynamics yet. Um, what if... What is that? It's like 36? Oh, I should probably drink this. 28. I think I can do this. 
Hold up. 27, that's 35. 14. That's 21. Should be 35, yeah? Oh shit, I could have played the claw. Shit. Alright, here we go. So you're dead. So I only have to worry about 28 damage. Okay. I'm fine with that. Did I not play my loop? I didn't. Do we consume again? I don't think so. Not with this much focus. So you're gonna take 18 damage. So you're already dead here. Alright, uh, we hit every debuff. He's gonna be a big bad boy. Hmm. Not as much block as I would have really liked. Don't have static discharge up. Although getting rid of one orb doesn't matter that much with the loop up. Okay, so he's resummoning. I think I static discharge. Alright, I want a big hand for next turn. Because his idiots are back out in full force. That evokes for 14. What if I dual cast it? That's 28, they're dead. Perfect. Mm. That's 8 block. 6 times 3 is 18. 18 plus 8 gets me enough. I think I do that. I kind of wanted to consume there, but preserving the pocket watch and getting enough block for the turn seems like a reasonable course of action. So that gives me more than enough block, I'm pretty sure. Yes. I can play one more card. Let's do that. Um, it's probably gonna buff or summon next turn, so I think I can probably just like wail on him a bit. Yeah. Yeah, see? I don't need a huge hand right now. And yeah, there's not much I can do with this hand anyway, so cool beans. Yeah, getting 24 block into this thing's not bad. I think I want to do that. And this. Because that. Excuse me. That way I've got the 27 damage against. Uh, the, the idiots that come out. I still want the extra. Oh, boot value. I still want the extra cards, though. So we're going to leave it there. He's already down to 21, so I think we've, just, like, won the fight. Yeah. All right, that went pretty well. I lost, what? Oh, and we gained seven from the self-repair. We lost like 12 HP? Not bad at all. Seek, 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 grab electrodynamics, grab lube, grab reinforced body, grab go for the eyes. There are a lot of cards that a man might want to seek. Hmm, okay, okay, okay. So, we already have a lot of turns where we want to limit what we're playing. It also works really well with Reinforced Body. Being able to block for 54 damage on top of Frost Orbs. There's also Snack Hawaii, which... Ooh. <sighs> we Snack Hawaii and Pocket Watch draw 10 cards. Hmm. Man, drawing 10 cards with Snack Hawaii is really good. Makes Seek a lot worse. Makes a lot of our deck kind of not as great. I think I'm taking the Choker here. 
Being limited to six is not that bad when you're already limiting yourself by choice with pocket watch. It just means that when we go nuts, we can't go super nuts. Okay. Awakened one. I have... I still have four powers, right? Okay. I mean, we can wait on, like, that one at the very least. If I get electrodynamics really early, then I'm going to want to play it just to deal with the birds, but, you know, it is what it is. Most of our focus does not need to come from powers, so that's a plus. How are we feeling about Act 3 Elites? I have a Seek and a Pocket Watch, so I'm feeling pretty good about Reptomancer. Good old Electrodynamics. And, like, we've got these, so... Napping is pretty great for us. Hmm. Matryoshi is gonna go to waste. Because we have to take... Oh, no, no, no! We still get one Relic out of it. Never mind. We get one Relic, and we get have to take the key. We have to... We don't get to choose which Relic. Whichever one's listed second, but... See, I'm not feeling too bad about Reptomancer. I need- I honestly, when it comes to Act 3, I really need to think about, like, actual floor fights, too, since a lot of them- I lose a lot of- Most of my runs that make it to Act 3 and lose, I think I probably lose to floor fights. Or Reptomancer. Um, Nemesis... With all the cards we're drawing, I'm pretty good at controlling which orb is gonna be in front for the loot plus for Nemesis' turns. So I think that's okay. Although, it- it's weird because of the way his intangibility is timed. Because with loop, our front orb goes off twice at the start of our turn. Or, how is it? Yeah, no, 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 it's fine, never mind, never mind, it works out. And then there's giant head. Uh, he might be a problem. He might be a problem. But, like, we've got meat on the bone, we've got a lot of survivability. Looks like a path. Oh shit, no, I have to go this way. Okay. Means I have to take two elites. Hmm. Alright, alright. It is what it is. This is a pretty good electrodynamics. Also, great time for anchor. I love it. Uh, yeah, consume, and then electrodynamics, and then loop. I just, I just won the fight. I just won the fight. They're all dead. Well, this guy might not be dead, but these guys are, they're all dead. Oh, 12 damage. I'm, I'm shaking in my, me boots. Me boots. Oh, I actually turns it. I should have self-repaired to get that one HP. I don't think I take these. The frost orb from Cold Snap would be nice, but orange pellets. What can I do with orange pellets? There's no speed potion here. Otherwise, I could do some really cheaty shit with orange pellets. We don't have a bias cognition. We don't have a hyper beam. The heart does put a bajillion debuffs on us. And the second elite, or the last elite, does too. There's no guaranteed shop until we... until Act 4. What about Art of War? Uh, that's gonna be real tough with Velvet Choker. Nothing else here is, like, really crying out to me. Power, skill, and attack. Like, that's really easy to do on 5 energy with a pocket watch. But I only have 4 powers. It's pretty good against the heart. Okay. Remove a strike. Mosey upward. Oh, right, I didn't think about regular floor fights. So, it's like transient... And Spire Growth, I think, are the two big ones. There's like a third, like, really unique one that I feel like I'm forgetting. I think we do fine against Transient. We probably take some damage against Spire Growth, but I don't expect it to be terrible. Hmm. This hand's all block. Well. Next hand will probably be better. 
Yeah. What do I want? I want to consume. All right, well, I'm going to have to play more than one card just to generate enough block here, so... Yeah, that's fine. Ran into Velvet Choker, but it didn't matter. play every card in my hand. How about that? Okay, we're still within full repair range. In fact, we're exactly within full repair range. That, I don't like that. I like that even less. This, this has gone poorly. Ooh, wow. It's like, really? All, all four of the burns were like right there? Get out of here. Double liquid bronze for the boss. Hmm, I have to fight a super elite and... Well, uh, I do nap. And gain like 36 health. And we've got meat bonus. And we've got self repair. Fine, fine. We're doing it for the rare relic. Okay. Uh, yeah, with two of them, we want the electrodynamics. Then what? I only need 10 block. Fuck. I'm gonna do it like that. So I should take one damage, which will also rotate the orb, dealing eight damage to both of them. Oh, or I mathed wrong. I might not have countered the frost orb. This is not a great, a great opening. Oh boy. Oh cool, I got rid of all my debuffs. Neat, yep. I need to draw some more cards. Holy fuck, that's a lot of damage. Uh oh, this is, uh, this is bad. This is real bad. That was a lot more damage than I anticipated taking. Like, like, way, way... Oh, fuck! Oh, we got a shovel! Give me the cool headed plus. Shit, 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 shit. Okay. If we do really good in this fight, we can heal 19 health. Which brings us up to what? 41? Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay, so we gotta get lucky against this bad boy. Um, just gonna leave it there. Yeah, I overestimated how fast we did damage. Really, that's how you're gonna do this. You're gonna open up your theory uh, with your 30 damage attack. That's, uh, hmm. Mighty fine of ya. There's no more block in my hand. I keep removing strikes. Uh, why? 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 Why did I get all my fucking block on turn one? Hold or three! Tier two! Eight cards! One block. I had to draw into that with no, never mind. Oh, fuck me. <sighs> Disappointed. <sighs> oh, fuck, I have one health. He has a whole lot of health left. I'm gonna keep the seek for later. 
Okay. Okay, we're fine on block. gonna keep buffing too it's a terrible hand it's just all the block all the block all together luckily I've got this providing me some kind of buffer <laughs> thank you Luna boy streamer Like, I can do that kind of baloney, but mm, I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful. Oh boy. Well, I can't consume again. That's 44 damage. I'm sitting at 39. Okay. I could stop right there. Like, I'm out of- I'm out of scaling. Fuck, I should have taken a creative AI. We got so much extra energy left on a bunch of these turns. He just keeps buffing, too. I didn't even know he had a times four attack. Give me that zap. Give me the zap. Dual cast it. What a cool headed back in front. I get to play one more card. Make a claw. Upgrade the claw. Uh, oh, good. Good, 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 good. Um, <sighs> so the mistake there was fighting the two orb walkers because they brought me down to 22 HP so I took 30 31 HP total damage by that turn yeah yeah <laughs> thanks bad citizen shovel was toast worth yeah got fucking demolished yep Yep. Or uh, any any source of uh, <sighs> any source of orb slots would have been great. I would have taken an inserter, like instantly, had I seen it after the collector. Um, over the uh, over the velvet choker. Velvet choker didn't actually end up doing a whole lot for us. All oh, right, we I don't even remember how he died We didn't even make it to the elite. We didn't even make it to the Superboy. <sighs> what else can I do? Um I guess that's okay I think I like this way better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do we got? We got enemies next extra combats or max health plus seven. I don't think I can do anything too cheeky with enemies in next three combats. I can make one of the elite fights kind of easier, I guess. I have to take a worse path, though. I'm gonna take the max HP. All right. Let's do it to it. I mean, the shovel, had we not, like, gotten completely ball blasted, I might have been able to dig once or twice in the run with that shovel, so. Like, I'd already gotten the key, and, you know, if we didn't need to nap, I could have just, could have just dug. 
Could have just dug. I can take this slow just as you can, Jawworm. I died to your your big brother. Jawworm Senior. Mr. Worm. Mr. Jaw. Cool. Just take seven damage anyway, that's fine. I don't have lethal. Oh, have I mentioned that I hate Jawworm? <laughs> nah, he's fine. He's cool. I'm just really glad he didn't have 13 health there. So often the front the little front wiener has like 13 or 14 health and you're just like <sighs> And then both of them attack like for the first two turns each It's just awful. It's just awful Okay, that wasn't too bad. I don't think I took any damage so Close line cleave It's our boss. I think I'm gonna take Cleave. Cleave's got better damage per energy than Clothesline does. The weak does not matter that much against Slime Boy, since if you split him, like the turn you make him weak or the turn after, doesn't really matter that as much. And Cleave hits all dudes, which means, you know, Slime Tony be tends to become multiple dudes, so that's my rationale. I'm sticking with it. And then I can do this in full block. I like it. I have a chance of being able to perhaps kill them next turn. Easy peasy. Didn't even spend all my energy. Shockwave? Is it too early for Shockwave? I don't think so. It's another one that's pretty good against Slime Bows. Rip. I don't think I've ever actually been in a situation to take Brimstone. Not a good situation, anyway. Almost got rid of the wrong strike. Um, I have two potions, and they're reasonable enough. Mm, I have taken some damage. Upgrade Iron Wave! Hmm. Don't really need to upgrade Shockwave for elites in this act. They don't last that long. Oh shit, it's upgraded Bash. Hmm. This is rough, not knowing what I'm gonna draw next turn. Because I'd like to keep him weak for when he's actually doing damage. Fuck. Like, Bash Cleave wouldn't be bad, but then I know I'm not going to see Shockwave for a while. I think I still do that? I'm going to use this now. Dropkick? Hmm, that exhausts my Shockwave. It also does a bunch of damage. Yeah. By the time I see Shockwave again, you know, the fight will be quite a bit closer to over, so. Okay. Not bad, not bad. He's not going to be vulnerable next turn, but he's also not going to be attacking next turn. If I can do like 19 damage to him... Knock him down to like 17 and he's vulnerable? Okay. I got a decent shot at being able to kill him the turn after next. That's 22. That's 19, but he's also vulnerable the next turn. And I can probably get more than 3 damage out of that. Yep. 
Uh, yep. Got him. Alright. Took... Well. After the heal, five damage. I did have to use uh, both our potions, though. <sighs> so we've got a shockwave. We've got a bash plus. Thunderclap would be pretty good at keeping dudes vulnerable. It's a bit more AoE. Like Thunderclap plus Cleave works pretty well. I think it's just a bash and an iron wave here. So this is our practice. You split at 35, huh? Well, cool. And then all that vulnerability doesn't matter. Now I have two 31 health slimes to deal with. I'm just gonna eat 15. I guess we also have Paper Frog, which makes vulnerable even better. It's a lot of damage. 15. That'll do 75. Thank you, Looney Boy Streamer. Okay, so 0.75 times 4. It's like 3? Oh, yeah, duh. 75% of 4 is 3, so that should do 7 damage. So I could just out and out kill one of the slimes, take 4 damage. Seems reasonable. Fear potion is not a bad pickup. I don't think this is the time for headbutt. Okay, we'll see. To nap or not to nap? That is the question. We're either fighting Gremlin, Gremlin Knob or... The three sentries. If I could guarantee that we were fighting the sentries, I might just upgrade Cleave. Thunderclap is pretty good. Although, Shockwave's not bad either, because if you Thunderclap, knock out all their artifacts first, then you get the Shockwave off. 32 health. If it is Gremlin Knob, we do have a Fear Potion, so... It's not too bad. No, I don't think I can afford to lose the health white here and I also don't think I need to heal that much I'll take the max HP one thiefy boy how dare he I should have taken the I should have just taken the relic I have a darkstone periapt it's like an extra almost strawberry How can you say no to almost strawberry? You can't. I really need this guy to die. Luckily for me, Paper Frog is uh, delivering. Cool, got him. I think we're reasonably good at AoE here. So I think I'd take the clothesline. Okay. This is the part where I wish I'd taken Immolate, because, like, you know, you shockwave, then you Immolate. Does good things. Not to them, but for me. Does good things. I guess we use this on the big boy. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Hey, gaming pug nine five six, how's it going? Oh, well, that hurt my bones. I don't think I'm shockwaving here. I think I'm just killing this guy. And then the dazes happened. Yikes. An Iron Wave is a better block card than Defend. Hmm, we lost a lot of health. Lost a lot of health. And continue to do so. Good news, he's down to 11. Cleave will kill him. Cleave's not in my deck. It's in my discard. 
Got him. I knew that clothesline would come in handy somewhere. Well, we are about to sleep, so... Ooh, I don't think I take any of these. Yeah, 17 HP against... Oh, hell. Oh, some block cards. Hmm. Hmm. Exhaust energies are strong. However, Shrug it off draws is a card, which is nice. And it blocks for more. I think I'm taking the Shrug here. What's up, big boy? All right. Six, ten. Yeah, no, it's still better to do it like this. I'm trying to kill him. I'm doing my best. Hmm. Paper frog. So give me like the rest. There we go. 46 is not bad. Not bad at all. About to become weakened, which is going to hurt us a bit. I've still got the shockwave. Which I think I should play here. He splits at 23. It's gonna make me frail. Unfortunate, we do have a blood potion. Okay, so I can split him. Draw cleave and kill them. Draw cleave. Hey. All right. Front butt's taken care of. Oh hey, <laughs> he's almost dead too. Well, thank you, gaming pug. I appreciate the sentiment. And then I got him. And then I got him. Hmm. Fiend fire. Don't have a card draw to make Fiend Fire like absurd. We don't have a feel no pain. What about just Impervious? How does our deck beat Act 2? We take Impervious over Fiend Fire. Because if we take Fiend Fire, I know how our deck beats Act 2. We find a bunch of feel no pains and maybe a corruption and maybe a juggernaut and go ham that way. I feel like Impervious. Also, you want Corruption, and then instead you want Corruption and Entrench and Body Slam. You want Corruption just so you can play Impervious and Entrench in the same turn. I feel like we just want Corruption. I feel like Corruption's a good card. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the Impervious. Snack a while also works. Oh shit, Snack is even better with Fiend Fire because you draw a bunch more cards. If you got a handful of like shit that you just, just like, these all cost three. Shucks, I wish there was some way I could just like burninate the shit out of whoever's in front of me with all these cards in my hand that I'm not gonna play. That's where Fiend Fire comes in. Alright, have a good night. We take the eyeball. We take the eyeball. Yeah, we got some cards to use it with. Okay, Collector. Detector. I have 312 gold. How are we feeling about Act 2 Elites? Hmm. If I get, like, Thunderclap and Cleave at the same time and can play them both with Snack OI, that's pretty good for Gremlin Leader. Like, that'll deal, like, because we've got Paper Frog. So, Cleave is gonna do, like, 14 damage or something? So that's like 18 damage to everybody? It's pretty good at clearing out gremlins. And then Shockwave and then keeping the vulnerable up with Thunderclap is pretty good against the slavers. So what about the big man himself, Book of Stabbing? I have a clothesline and an iron wave and an impervious and no scaling. Excuse me. Cool. Sounds like a game plan. Ooh. 
Not a lot of uh, super great paths either. Yup. And I'm gonna go up this way. Because on, on the off chance that a deck becomes incredible, I can take three elites. Like, no matter where I go, it's one bonfire. Is there literally not even a single path I can take that has two bonfires on it? Unless I'm blind. I don't think there is. Wow. Are there only three bonfires? Like, obviously not counting these ones. Jesus. Well, that's a sparse map. No rest for the weary. This is gonna be awkward. We do have a... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit him with one of those. Then hit him with one of these. Take five. Maybe we should maybe we should uh, start flexing on this Darkstone Periapt and just get Snekowai to push us past it all. Honestly, I'm not doing too bad so far. Took five damage. He's still vulnerable, so uh, cool. And then I just won the fight. Oh, baby. Is this the first time I've had snack a while when I've actually had snack a while? And that. And thus it's become a good card? Fuck. Oh! Starting to really wish I'd taken the Fiend Fire and that True Grit. Alright, well, I'll just eat up all his baloney now. Obviously, we want to keep the. the uh, Impervious for when uh, he's actually hitting me. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, no, I'd like to keep him weak for next turn if I could. Okay, okay. Get one of those and get one of these. It's all good. It's easy peasy. Peasy has become uneasy. <laughs> Guess I probably should have. Uh... Eh, fuck it. I was like, probably should have made him vulnerable there before I hit him with things, but yeah, whatever. It is what it is. Three cost thunderclap, I love it. He gains what, 15 block? Yep. Hmm. There we go. There we go. Got him. Probably should have just like drank this. Whatever. Armaments, especially Armaments Plus, is a lot better with a snack away since you're seeing more, you're having more cards in hand. Alright, I'll take it. Yeah, I'm gonna look at some cards. Like, nothing else here jumps out at me, like, uppercut? Nah, it's gotta be Feel No Pain. We just need some cards to go with it. Oh my god! Why didn't- why didn't I cast the Feel of Pain in the other strike? That was so stupid. It was so dumb. This armaments is not an armaments plus, which makes it a lot worse. Fucking three cost thunderclap. Fucking fucking Cool. Thanks, Ascenders Bane.
Oh, this is gonna be rough. All right, all right, yep, yep, yep. I ah, gotcha. Fuck. Um, hold up, my block suddenly doesn't suck as much. So I'm gonna do that, that's still 15 damage. Maybe I should have snick a world right there. Here we go. Get down that fucking hole. Hmm. These are all bad options. Thanks for the munch. Thanks for the munch. So he's a shelled parasite, so I assume that means that like all this bit coming out is the actual living thing and the rest is just like the shell of something. I don't know how he's moving the mouth part, but whatever, I won't I won't dive into it. I'm sure there's a whole lot of not blocking that I'm doing. Okay. I can dig this. I can dig this. Can I kill him? Holy shit. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, do I take a shrug it off and just try to hope that we come across a corruption? I think. I think right now that's my game plan. Hope we grab a corruption to make the feel no pains worth it, and then suddenly all the uh, all the skills just cost zero by default. That seems like a good plan. Can't touch this. Oh, you're not like hitting me at all, so I'll just do that, I suppose. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> Generate six block by playing the other feel no pain. Ooh, ooh, hello. We should be fine. Oh, you know what? I should have played that one defend, that one free one on an earlier turn. Yeah, shit. I actually need those days to generate guaranteed free block. Well, whatever. Doesn't matter. Mm, nope, nope, nope. Can't take those. Pretty sure it's nap time. Can't upgrade that armament. Corruption. True grit. Yeah. Yeah. What do you have? Whirlwind's not bad, especially with the thunderclap. What? Uh, oh. They updated the art on Agent T set. I was like, what on earth is this thing? It no longer looks like uh like a cruise ship. I mean, I do miss, I do miss the old cruise ship, but how good is Apotheosis here? It might be really good. Rip armaments. In fact, it might be the best thing here. We draw to it way quicker. It likely gets a discount. Just remove a boring old strike. Okay, okay. I feel pretty good about that shop. Apotheosis turn one, rip. This is gonna hurt. Uh, sure. Oh, really? You're gonna do that right away, are you? 
No, no, I don't think you are. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna generate a bunch of extra block. Okay, wow. Uh, do, have we won the fight? He has eight health and he has 17 health. I feel like this fight might be over. Which is weird to me. Oh, didn't even need to block it because it just hit him. Well, Apotheosis is a little late. No damage in this hand. It's fine, he's just gaining strength, no longer being vulnerable, etc, etc. That fight went extraordinarily well. Yeah. Yeah, give me Dark Embrace. I think that means we go for at least one more Elite. Okay. It's not as good with an Apotheosis in the deck, but still decent. I'm gonna drink this right now. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh fucking baby, yes. Okay. So now the problem we is we have no offensive scaling. <laughs> um, that is a problem. I need to dig for apotheosis. Is what I need to do. There you are. Oh baby. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now we're off to the races. And eh, armaments becomes kind of turd, but yes. There we go. Four damage is, is fine. We're gonna hit that molten or that molten that uh, red skull pretty soon. Three cost on that true grit. I'm not digging it. Not digging it. About to take a bunch of damage. Give me that whirlwind. Give me that whirlwind. Shit. Excuse me. What is that? 49? Bitch. 21 damage. Thanks, Red Skull. Almost there. Almost there. Even that wasn't like too terrible. Oh, we got him. We got the shit out of him. Bottled flame. Bottled flame. Fuck. I think that's like the one bottle we don't want. Bottled lightning would be apotheosis. Bottled tornado would be feel no pain. I don't think I want whirlwind opening hand. Cause that lowers the chances. It takes us longer to get to apotheosis if I do that. I think at this point I'd probably just remove armaments. Yeah, we're looking for a corruption for sure still. Right, I'm not gonna take any of these. Uh, we are still in Red Skull zone, aren't we? Ooh, that's a, that's a pretty good apotheosis. Rip. No, just cleave. Just cleave. Okay, I'm not afraid of his baloney. Don't even take damage. Those feel no pains, though. Uh, okay. I think I'm full blocking. Yep, yep, yep. Pretty good, pretty good. I like it. 
Ooh, yeah, this looks good. This looks good. I can dig it. He's still vulnerable, so he's gonna... Gonna eat a bunch of meat. Mmm! No time for vegetarians at the Ironclad's table. Give me more dazes. Give me more dazes. Oh yeah, give me my cleave. Um, can I kill you? No, but I can come very close. Got him. Alright, alright. Gain six health. Got a block put. <gasps> it's even upgraded. Not that that matters that much with the Sneko Eye, but... Uh, I'm gonna want that he a headbutt eventually. There's something underneath my mouse pad. Now I've knocked my mouse over. So we're gonna want a headbutt eventually because because whirlwind is basically why. But yeah, we take the corruption here. All right, I think I think that gives me the courage. Okay, okay, okay. I like it. I like it. I like where this is going. Do I just like murder this little boy? I can start hitting this guy. Especially since I still get enough uh, to block with. Then I hope. So he's going to attack. Fuck. It's not the apotheosis I really wanted to see here. Okay, so you're already weakened, so I do this just for damage. Okay, well, may as well try to prevent as much damage as I can here. There's our whirlwind. Um, what does this do? This does at least eight damage. <sighs> Point seven five times five. What is that? It's 3.5, it's 3.7, yeah, so it rounds down to 3, so that's 8 damage, which means I need at least 2 ticks. Yeah, which means I should just do that. So I already know he's resummoning, which is kind of unfortunate since I just used my Whirlwind. Corruption plus for 3. Upgrade that bad boy. No. Upgrade this bad boy. Not gonna play the other defend. Whirlwind? Shit. Oh wait, never mind, it's right there. I found it. I was like, fuck. Ah, no whirlwind. But that was a lie. Um, I don't have any non-attacks I can use to, uh... Make them vulnerable. That's fine. Okay, I killed them all. That's 36 damage. So... Good. Okay. It's all gravy from here. Don't really need the block. No, I'll just end it. We're drawing seven cards. We draw a card every time we exhaust. Uh, fuck. That's only 33 damage. Okay. Well, hold up. Let's, uh, let's exhaust some stuff. Draw some cards. Here we go. Here we go. See what else we can get. Nope. Something else. Something else. Fuck. Uh, we've got it though, right? That does it? Perfect. I had to use a block potion. Mm, nope, nope, nope. Ooh, that's our scaling. There's our scaling. We got, I was like, that's, that's the thing I was most worried about is we had no offensive scaling, but there it is. I have a Sneko eye. I've just realized that makes, uh, ooh, makes Jax less good some would say worse some would say worse would be the the word that you would use but not me i say less good bash the shit out of this guy cool
yeah, I'm gonna play Apotheosis, and then I'm gonna play Feel No Pain, and then I'm gonna hit the man, and then I'm gonna rip, rip Corruption. Corruption could get us through this, but oh well, it is what it is. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Hey, I killed him. Sick. Another True Grit? Probably. That's a lot of damage. Thank you, Looney Boy. Do we nap? What will we upgrade? Hmm, it's hard to... We got an Apotheosis. Ooh, it's like a shooting star. And there's the Spire. That's... Huh. Kind of like that. Uh, I don't think we upgrade anything. Nope. I really wish that was a Toxic Egg over Molten Egg. Since Corruption makes us kind of want skills. Three cost jacks. That's, uh, yep. Sounds right. Just, like, hit him, I guess. Oh, I thought this was Apotheosis for a second. I was like, ooh. Free Apotheosis. I like it. But it was not free. Like get rid of the regular strike, I guess. Take two damage here. You bitch! Oh, you're gonna take my corruption plus. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Ooh, yeah. I don't think I want a corruption plus quite right here. Shit. Ooh, this is going slow. This is going too slow. Apotheos is back. Shit. Uh... Upgrade the jacks. He's gonna do his big move. He's gonna do another. No, nope, that's the hyper beam. Man, remember remember back before Ascension 20 came out and he uh, was dizzy for a turn after Hyper Beam? God, God, I miss that. Okay, give me Apotheosis back, you bitch. Interesting. Ooh, how am I gonna... Hmm. Oh yeah, that's how that works. I don't have a single feel no pain up. Okay, uh, exhaust the bash. That's awful. That's awful. Just missed out on like 16 block. There's our jacks. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that thunderclap rolling. Oh, yeah. There's the other one. That's why. Okay. We've got Paper Frog. Uh, we've got six dicks. Uh, no. We've got six strength. I think corruption time is now. There we go. Get the other. It's down to 30. That's going to give me 18 or 11 plus 7. That should do it, right? Yes, 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 yes. And turn. It's a pretty good whirlwind. Oh, I got rid of my bash. That's that's what I was like. Man, I can't like keep any vulnerable on this guy because all I have left is thunderclap. That's fine. Just hit him a whole bunch then. He's already weakened. All right. I don't see Cleave being super useful here with a Whirlwind. Fucking two cost Thunderclap every time. What is that? Thirty six. So I can just Whirlwind from here. Okay. 
who is gonna be dicey where the fuck is Jax? Oh, it exhausted because I played Corruption. That's fine. Nine strength. Sure. I guess now I'll Thunder. Thunder Flunder. It's a lot of damage. Like, don't get me. That's. Woo! Woo! Fuck. Hold up. Do I have lethal? That's 17. Uh, what's, what's, hold up, 17 times 0.75, 17 times, or 0.75 times 10 is 7.5, and then, okay, 0.75, that's 4.9, plus 0.35, so it'll be an extra five, nope. Hold up, hold up. So it's 4.9, it's 4, it's 5.25. 5.25 on top of 7.5. So 12.75, so it'll be 12 extra damage. So that's 29 damage times 3 is 87? Hooray! <laughs> I did it. I killed them. We do have a snack of eye. <laughs> um, does say deal 42 damage on it for question mark amount of energy. And we have a paper frog. So if he's vulnerable, how much damage is that? How much damage is that? 0.75. It's like 30, it's like 72 damage. I think I just have to take bludgeon. I can probably get away with a choker here. Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling that choker, I'm feeling it. All right, I'm gonna go refill my water and use the bathroom real quick and be right back. We got a bludgeon, we got a velvet choker. Kinky. <laughs> Alright, how are we? Sorry, I accidentally muted myself. Wrong button. Uh, how are we feeling about Act 3 Elites? So, the big one, Reptomancer. Uh, there's a Whirlwind, there's a Shockwave, there's a Thunderclap, there's a Cleave, and there's a Jax. So. And we got like Corruption and Feel No Pains and Skills. And snack away. So I feel like we just like make it through there on average. Like, there's so much, there's so many random factors. Like, yes, if every card we draw costs three and corruption's on the very bottom of our deck, then we lose the fight. Um, we'll probably do okay. What about Giant Head? Um, hmm. He might be a bit, of, well, hmm. Bludgeon, <laughs> Bludgeon might actually fix the Giant Head problem. Because he doesn't have any artifacts, and we can keep him vulnerable. So being able to whip out just like 72 damage time and time again. Seems like it might work out pretty well for us. 
And then there's Nemesis. Kind of can't control when we can and can't do damage. Which is unfortunate. Probably blunder through Nemesis, take some damage. Gotta go this way. Ooh, five floor fights. And then, yeah. What about... We're probably okay-ish against Transient. Mm, might be a little slow to get started against the, uh, the Spire Growth. Well, we'll just see how things go. Mm, okay. Man, I really wish upgrading that Thunderclap gave it one more vulnerable. Um, hold up there. So that'll be 8 damage. It's 16. That's not enough to do much of anything with. There's only one less block, but it also does damage. So I'm going to do that one. Besides, they're vulnerable. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Mmm, who wants to die? Oh, it smells like you want to die. It smells like you also probably want to die. Uh, yeah, I'll play a block card. That's fine. Okay, so I gotta get really lucky here. Ooh. Uh, hmm. Uh, hmm. Well, I really should have looked at what was on the bottom of my deck. Sure, Apotheosis. Okay. We should be fine. They're all at half health. I've got a Feel No Pain up. I've got Apotheosis in play. Hmm, they're not vulnerable, that's a problem. Also, a bunch of stuff in my hand costs a bunch, so I'm gonna play that now. I don't like how much damage they're doing to me. It, it vexes me. Something fears. I think I maybe have gotten enough block? Yeah. That's what, 50 damage there? Got it. Hmm. Mm. I think I won the fight. <laughs> With the bludgeon in my hand? Yeah. Do I take an entrench? Without the ability to hold onto it for the right time? Without a body slam? Hmm. Or a barricade? No. I think is the answer. I think the answer is no. Okay. I'm not actually sure what we even... What health we even went into that fight at. Uh, yeah, yeah. I gotta take a little bit of damage. No, I don't. Fuck that shit. Take 12, everybody. Oh, I love you, Paper Frog. Double feel no pain. Do I need a Jax here? I get more than enough block. I got bludgeon. No. Nah. No, nah, I should be fine. The dazes only give me more blocks, so I'm not too worried about those guys. Whirlwind is a bit hard to use, as is the cleave. Hmm. Okay. So do it like that. Excuse me. Take three damage to win the fight. And then heal six. Yeah, it seems good. A second thunderclap. No. But what about an uppercut plus? I think I can take that one. 
Zero Cost Apotheosis. Leviosa. Uh, what do I have here? Like 30. Fuck. <sighs> 32? That's not enough. Oh, but, however. <sighs> Steroid Pot will do it. I should probably save that for a harder fight than this and just take some damage here. No, oh, this asshole's hitting me harder. It's not hard to deal three damage, so. I dislike that all of my attacks cost three. I do have 22 blocks, so I don't have to kill him this turn. Hope for better cost on my attacks next turn and just do a whole bunch of damage to this bad boy. Okay, okay. It might not be a terrible idea. I'm about to find out. Yikes. Yikes. Okay. 11 damage is not the worst. Uh, he only has 21 total health. So... I have a whole lot of energy. I was like, I'm gonna need to jax here in order to get the damage out, but... I actually didn't. I actually don't think I need a fear potion. We have so much vulnerable. Take another true grit. I think that's probably the last one I want to take. Could use a bit more card draw. A battle trance would be really great here. Wait, do I? Oh no, I've got three. Yeah, three true grits should be enough. It's a lot of damage. Yeah, I don't feel like taking an extra 14. Just a thunderclap there. Okay. Ouch. I'm picking up what you're putting down, but ouch. So you're all the way dead. So far, so good-ish. Still can't cleave like I'd like to. I think I hit this man. Take 18 damage if I play this. Use the impervious now. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, okay. Uh, whirlwind. This is not really what I'm looking for. Literally doing that just for the block. Alright, and we're gonna get a bunch of block from this. Cool. Again, dazes are not that bad. Okay, yeah, I've got to generate the block first. And then hit this idiot really hard. Right. Cost two. Okay, that's fine. Oh, this is getting a little dicey. We still have another regular fight to do. Before we've even gotten to the big boy. So that's all non attack cards. Nope. Okay. There's our special boy, Spire Growth. I'm almost certainly gonna have to corruption like very soon. It's a lot of damage that I can't properly deal with very well. 
Fuck. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Fucking corruption would have been real cool. Any day now. Nineteen times three is fifty seven. It's a hundred and thirty five. I think I die if I don't do this. So, because, like, what is that? That's eight. I don't have a feeling of pain up. It's like 13 plus 9, 22. No, I don't die. I can get 22 block. Take 15, go down to 7. I take 11, go down to 10. Hi, right, bitch. See you later. Nope, not that one. Take a headbutt now. Especially since you can headbutt zero cost cards back into your hand. Okay, it's Reptomancer. We gotta draw the right cards at the right times. And they have to cost the right amount. None of that has occurred. Boy, Corruption's great in a hand without any skills in it. Said the man sarcastically. I think I still play it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Whirlwind, 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 whirlwind. I think I'm dead anyway. Fucking apotheosis. Not dead. Not dead at all. Okay, I gotta get 36 block. Hmm. We're, no, 32 block. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, grab me the whirlwind. Hopefully, she like resummons. I can steroid pot maybe. Hmm. It's not the turn I really want to shockwave for. However, hold up. Oh, I'm weakened. Oh, fuck. God, shit. I was like, wait, don't I have red skull? Shouldn't this be doing more? Um, yeah, no, just, just do it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Please don't be hitting me. Okay. Hold up. Fuck shit. Do the other one. Draw me a card that's not a fucking skill. Give me more. <gasps> I choked myself to death. I was literally just fuck. Just like mm -hmm. I choked myself to death. I choked myself to death. I choked myself to death. That was like 87 damage. Hold up. Do I have it? Draw me a zero cost attack. I fucked it. I fucked it. I would have had it. I should have just played it. Should have just played it. Oh man, we could have made it that run. We could have made it. Oh man, I am disappointed. I forgot about the choker. Choked myself to death. Choked myself to death. Died to Velvet Choker. That's not even true. That's not even true. Should have just, just, just played the bludgeon first. Just play it first. What was I waiting for? I don't even know. Should have just played it. Fuck. Forgot about the choker. All right, well, uh, unfortunately, it is that time once again. So if you liked what you saw, feel free to follow both here on Twitch as well as the various social media and video hosting platforms linked down below. Next stream is tomorrow night from 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you don't know what time that is in your time zone, 
That is approximately 22 hours from right now. So like two hours ago, but in the future. We will be continuing our never-ending quest to Slay the Spire at that time. If you want to see previous episodes of both Slay the Spire as well as other games I've streamed in the past, you can check out the YouTube and BitChute channels. And also feel free to join the community Discord, which is also linked down below. Till next time, have a good night, everybody.